Hey guys, welcome back, and we're going to be doing another mini-series. Back earlier in uh, March, I did a mini-series of PVM Bingo, and my CC is doing another PVM Bingo, so we're going to do a few episodes on this. As you can see on the screen, guys, it goes from April 24th to May 8th. There's a wide variety of content here. And all of these uh, pieces of content this time around is geared towards people allowing for a vast majority of them to participate in lower requirements. Still a good amount of money being obtained from this. And as you can see, the main purpose of this event is to acquire GP, meet new CC members, as well as get exposed to content that you potentially could not have done before or you would never would have done before. And so with this, our main objective is to get as many squares filled up as we can. And so with that, if you black out the card, you're on Mac, like first place if you're the first one to do it. But if no one else blacks out the card, then you will uh, work towards getting as many squares completed as we can. And like I said, let's go into some of the squares to create any God sword. So we got to get all the shards from scratch as well as the hilts and make the God sword a uh, complete a master casket. You just got to open it up, obtain an abbey whip. That's pretty easy. In a band of chess player tasks, that's it's easy. Create a malediction or odium ward. That's from Scorpia, Chaos, Anatic, and Crazy Archaeologist. Obtain a black mask. That's from uh, what, are, what are those things? The, the cave beasts or something like that. What, are, what are the thing in um, mostly harmless? I can't remember the name. Open a brimstone chest. That's from Konar. Great claw or tooth or dragon throwing axe or knives that's from drakes as well as worms as well as alchemical hydra complete any 25 gauntlets you know gauntlet and prif in a zami spear that's from krill in armadillo chest plate or skirt you know that's from armadillo obtain a kbd or kq or abby demon head you know self-explanatory there the free space create a trident of the swamp so you need a trident of the seas you gotta make that uh you're sorry you gotta get that as a drop from kraken or the little ones and then uh, combine it with a magic fang in order to create the trident of the swamp bonnie superior slayer creature Pretty easy to do as long as you have the task unlocked. In a crystal tool seed or Zelcano shard, that's from Zelcano. Armadillo crossbows from Zilliana. All DK rings. 100k point raid with every single bingo team member with 10 a uh, points minimum. In a dragon war hammer or basilisk jaw. Any two barrows items. Any purple from chambers. Sub 35 minute jad kill. In U logs from giant mole and any pet or boss jar. So that is the bingo card. And I'm on Team Sweaty DX Racer Chairs with Raid Doctor, who was in my previous bingo. So and Reap, who is Lakeness, who was also in my previous bingo. Myself, of course. And then we picked up this new guy. His name is Emmett20. And we hope he has some pretty good potential. So that is the bingo team that I'm on. And let's get into the clips of us progressing our card to try to get first place. All right. So bingo starts in, you know, five minutes. So I'm just sitting here at Abbey Demons, just making sure that I can start as soon as it goes live. Uh, right now, we're just waiting on the special word in order to include on our screenshots. And then we all can begin. And I'm excited, dude. I love bingo. It's so much fun. And I hope you guys uh, enjoy this little mini series. Bingo has officially started, which means that we are all competing for that first place prize. So right now I'm at Abbey Demons, I need to get the Abbey Whip. Our special word that we need to include in the screenshots is bagel. So uh, all of our screenshot submissions have to contain the word bagel in order for it to count. So, <laughs> dude, I'm just so happy. I, was, I love bingo, man. I love it. No whip so far, guys, but we got a superior uh, Abbey Demon spawn. So that does count towards bingo. So we are on the board and hopefully I can get a whip this task, but it probably won't happen. But we, one can hope. Like two kills later, and I get the Abbey Whip, dude. Abbey Whip. All right, another square has been accomplished. Let's move on to something else now. So we are back with another task. Uh, we just got through with the Demon's task. So we got a Basilisk task. We're trying to get the Basilisk Jaw, which is one out of 1,000. Um, so my CC, sorry, my team told me this is where I bring for Basilisk Knights. Yeah, the Hasta full melee setup and everything. Pray, pray mage, and turn on piety and uh, hope for the best. Yeah, I can get the jaw. I don't expect it in the first task, but who knows? Content creator luck, it does exist. I got a 2KC cudgel last bingo, so hey, you never know. So after my basilisk task, I didn't get anything worthwhile in regards to anything in drops. 
but I did get a KBD task, so Black Dragons. In the meantime, I was gone for a few hours, and my team was absolutely killing it with Bingo while I was gone. These guys, they did a little bit of an update with, uh, for me, and they've completed the Black Mask, two of the DK rings, as well as they got the U-Logs from Giant Mole. So while I'm doing the KBD heads, these guys have been killing it out here, progressing our Bingo card. It's a brand new day and of course a whole new Slayer task. So after my KBD task, I have decided that I was just going to throw away my Slayer points up until I got a Jet task and I was lucky enough to get one within two or three rerolls, which was really nice. And since it's a new day, my teammates for Bingo, they were killing it again overnight. They got some more drops as you can see as they update the Bingo card. And me, Jad, I'm just trying to kill him with my Twisted Bow and using vengeance and everything on him and overall trying to get that sub 35 minute fight cave kill and right now as you can see the healers are just out dpsing me so i just flicked my prayer and got the vengeance off and it killed them and with that i try to see if i can get a reroll for the pet i think right here if i want it, yep i use my fire cape on the npc to try to get a pet roll so we can get two squares done in one but unfortunately you not lucky and we continue onwards. After that Jad task, I decided to go to Sriracha to see if I can get the pet and I didn't. So nothing there in regards to that square. And so I decided, hey, I'll go bang out Barrows in order to get those two items. As you can see here on my load, I'm using Sanguinesti Staff. Basically that thing just heals me. So I'm running through Barrows in full graceful without giving a shit. And then um, a Cult Altar and the Mage's Book for Offensive. I know Barrows have negative magic bonus, I don't know why I brought those, the occult. I think is the occult was for my max hit, I'm pretty sure. Because right? I don't need the magic offensive. And the mage's book overall, that was just useless. I don't know why I brought that, but basically my inventory loadout for this was just full graceful. So weight reducing clothing, four stamina's, a whole bunch of prayer potions, uh, the Ava's device, blowpipe so I can kill Aram really quickly because, you know, can't use magic on him. And so I just maged the entirety of it and had some items in my inventory so I could just have the item stacks for the runes and the coins and everything like that. So running through barrows and hoping I can get those two items and hopefully we can get the square completed. All right, guys, we finally have gotten our first barrows piece and that is a Verox helm. And that is 21 chests. It took 21 chests. Feels bad, man, but we will continue on. We want to get two Barrows items. All right, we just got our second Barrows piece, and it's a Guthans War Spear. So we are done with this square, and time to move on to something else. Once again, while I was going for a bingo square, my team coming in clutch by getting some squares themselves. Looks like they completed the DKs, so all of that is done. We did do chambers in the meantime because they took a break, but I didn't get any footage of that. Someone got the uh, brimstone chest, and so we're making a little bit of progress. And as of right now, and the standing of all the other teams, we are actually fourth place. So we are lacking right now, unfortunately. So in this footage, I'm trying to get the Drake's Claw or Drake's Tooth, as well as those uh, two dragon items of so the Throne Axes and Knives from this Drake task. Honestly, I don't expect it to happen. It's a 1 out of 2,000 for the dragon items, and it is a 1 out of 512, I believe, for the Drake items. So, potentially, could happen. Probably not, though. But um, that's what I'm doing right now, while my bingo team is focusing on other tasks. Nearing the end of the second day since bingo has started, me and Ray Doctor decided we'd, uh, we'd be going to KBD in order to get those KBD heads. So I didn't know this, but with a Twisted Bow, KBD is about 80 kills prior with a duo, and I never really thought of that. Also guys, changing the subject here, we are flying through bingo right now. We're at the end of the second day, and I'm about to update the bingo card very soon, but guys, it's only day two, and we're flying through this thing. You'll see how much we filled out. All right, man. All right, we got the KBD head team. Anything you want to say, Red Doctor? It's a shit, boss. I agree. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get this Black Slayer Helm soon though. Man, good call, good call. I was gracefully given a Krill Suzeroth task, and so because of that I'll be tanking. Now you may be wondering, why exactly am I not wearing a Slayer Helm? If that's the case, you know, you got a Krill task? Why not wear a Slayer Helm and you be attacker so you can DPS more? 
Well, the problem is that it's just strictly Krill Sutsaroth. So if it was a lesser demon task, I'd probably be attacker. But because it's just a Krill task, I'm just going to be tanking with full Justiciar, Hosta, DFS, and every other item that's pretty tanky in order for me to tackle the situation. And so because of that, guys, I'm just going to be tanking it. You know, got my full Guthans I can heal up, SGS I can heal off of that, and prayer bonus, or I'm sorry, prayer rejuvenation from that. The super restores, Cerebrews, Antidotes, you know, the typical stuff for tanking. So we're going to be going to Zami, and hopefully we can get a hilt, which is what we need. All right, guys, so we're here at Curl Sutsaroth at uh, two kills in, and we get our Zamrakin hilt, which that we are three. Hey there, I'm pretty doctor. Shard's yeah. Bleeding the god sword, so. We need shard one. Yep, we just need shard one and we're good to go and that god sword. Yeah, another square completed, so hopefully the Zami trip will go well. We can get another god sword shard one. Other than that, we can go for Zamriakian spear either way. Hey everyone, I just got up. It is the second day of bingo and right now, I have a basculus task in order to try to get that basculus jaw, and hopefully we can. 187 basculus. I don't really know exactly uh, if we'll be lucky or not, but we've seen a lot in this bingo competition, as I will talk about some of the drops that other teams have acquired. Uh, there has been an update from last night as to our position of where my team stands. And as of right now, we are in the middle of the pack. There's one dedicated team that is absolutely crushing it. And by crushing it, I mean they got the Basilisk Jaw within 20kc. They completed the Malediction Ward. They are absolutely killing it because they are just really lucky. And as well as they have some really good strats that I will say are very well prepared. Such as how uh, they were at... Bandos with an alt with Dinsible work and just this year. Meanwhile, the person that has the main account of that alt is soloing DKs at the same time. That's pretty insane. But overall, day two of bingo. And we're going to continue onwards and hopefully we can get lucky. Alright guys, after about two or three hours here at Zami, we finally have gotten the Zamriaki spear. And we were hopping in between worlds if you've seen the footage and Raid Doctor. And the myth, the legend, with Emmett 20 here with us, able to make history of us getting the same reacting spear. So, anything you guys want to say before we part ways to another Galvers Dungeon boss? Uh, can I finish my task quick or no? <laughs> <laughs> no I, got, I got 50 kills, bro. Oh, <laughs> no. I'm going to bed. All right. Oh, Emmett, no, thanks. not yet. No, I, I got I got one hour left. Okay. So, the end of the first episode of Bingo is here, guys. Here is the updated card of what we have. And we have come a long way in the couple of days that Bingo has been live. If you remember from the first Bingo, it was a little bit more challenging than this. And by that, it took the entire two weeks. So, the expectation is that this Bingo is going to be done within the fifth day. The dawn of the fifth day. So, with that, guys, we did get the Zami Spear. And we did, got, we did get a lot of other things. We just got to get, you know, the Jaw, the Dragon War Hammer, ACB, Purple from Chambers. So, overall, good experience. It's the end of the video, guys, which means uh, thank you to our channel membership supporter, Kevin Ace, for supporting the channel. It's very much so appreciated. All right, guys, that's the end of episode one of Bingo. I'll see you on episode two. And I got another idea of a video in the future, so stick around. Anyways, guys, my name is Shanka Muffin. I'm signing out. Please enjoy this outro.